Josh, thank you. People are finding all kinds of ways to remember George Floyd and make their voice heard about the need for change in this country. I talked with a local teacher, artist, and business owner about her way of getting these messages across. I mean, anytime that you create a piece of artwork and have a voice, you hope that it's impactful and, um, and that other people are inspired by it. Kara Davio got to work Monday morning using art to fix up the damage caused by looters Saturday night at the downtown Syracuse business she's a partner in, Wildflowers Armory. She also knew this would be a great lesson for her art students at North Syracuse Junior High and CNS High School. Art as a voice for change in the world. Well, I think the windows themselves really kind of symbolize the world and, and how, how broken we are at the moment. And again, placing these boards up almost as, as band-aids to kind of cover up the problem. Um, so I just kind of felt like using a symbol that could show the change that we needed in the world and what better than George Floyd's face. Kara tells me using an image over and over with bright colors would be impactful and grab people's attention. You know, the world needs to see more in color and not just black and white. And um, I think it's important to recognize that racism does exist in the world. Um, and that everyone deserves the same love and respect. The mural is down now to make room for new windows, but Kara says public art is never permanent. So um, so we knew that it would be coming down, and um, I think it served its purpose. And Kara also tells me they hope to save the artwork and possibly display it inside Wildflowers Armory on Salina Street near the corner of Fayette in downtown Syracuse.